this is Elvia. This is Ryan. And we're fishing for Cookie, and we're here with some special guests today. My sister Evelyn and Fernando here. And then we have um, Coco and Chris from Crazy for Coco Chris on Instagram. <laughs> I'll put the link. <laughs> I'll put the link um, for you guys so you can check them out. It's a really cute new page following Coco and Chris <laughs> on their daily adventures. Chris just took up parkour, so he's really excited to show off for you guys. But we're here with Evelyn and Fernando for a for another unboxing video of the November Japan crate. This is going to come out a little bit late in November because uh, we've just been busy with uh, holiday time at Disney, Day of the Dead at Disney, and then just regular holiday time stuff. We agreed to try out some of this Japanese candy with us. Mwah! She's so cute. So let's go ahead and get started. So for you guys, if you didn't catch our October video, Japan Cray is a monthly subscription service um, where you get Japanese candy and food sent to your door. Um, and this is a premium box. They have three levels. They have the mini, the original, and the premium crate. And they're all different prices. It started about $15 all the way up to $30 for the premium crate. Yeah. And they get delivered to your door every month. So every month you get um, new candies and foods to try out and you get automatically entered in a raffle for their Sagoi crate which comes with um, different prizes and this month one of the big prizes is the Mega Yoshi Amiibo um, and that's just one of the things that comes in the Sagoi crate that you can win if you're a member of Japan crate. So let's go ahead and get into the box for this month. So here's the premium box and let's go ahead and try some of this stuff out. First thing Looks like maybe an apple cinnamon. What is this thing? Purple sweet potato sticks. Mmm. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try this out. It looks like you know those things that you get in holiday time for like cinnamon stick and has chocolate on the inside? Yeah, that's what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be sweet, like maybe an apple cinnamon, but that's a purple potato. Potato can be too. Like this one. Yeah. Not cool. So many things you want. I'll leave that to Fernando. He's like, oh, not bad. It's not sweet, it's not salty. It's not bad though. It tastes like dry cereal puffs. <laughs> yeah. Like the baby food that they feed the finger food to the baby. Mm -hmm. so cool. What do you think, Ferg? Yeah, that was going to be a little bit more sweet. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. Let's switch over to something fruity. So I think these are gummy candies. They look yeah, like grapes. They look like grapes. That one is the super string too, so it's like a string candy. So we tried a string candy last month. I wonder if it's the same thing. Oh no, it's not. The other string candy that we tried came pre-packaged and you peeled it apart. This is like brain. <laughs> it looks like um gummy noodles. Go ahead and try them. Oh, is it all one, one long one? one? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Slow. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Here, we'll start it over there. That's weird. <laughs> Break it off midway here. Oh. <laughs> That's it. So green grape and purple. Here, yeah, put that yeah. back in here. It smells good. It smells yeah. really pretty. Mm. <laughs> it tastes like, um, well, just grape juice. Yeah. And candy flavor. Yeah. I like the green one. That's a good one. That's a yeah. really good candy. I'm just surprised <laughs> that it all comes in one long string. The purple one is good too. I like the green. I like the green one better only because it's a little bit more tart. And I like sour candy. I think the purple one's better. The green one doesn't taste like anything. I thought the green one was more sour. 
But maybe it's because I have the flavor already in my mouth. Yeah. Okay. Next one. We'll have very quick one. Just Will you have stuff on your hands? <laughs> you can pick up the next one. <laughs> All right. Hot chili salad flavored pretzels. <laughs> Hot chili salad flavor? Hot chili salad. Keep away from high temperature and direct sunlight. <laughs> Bound up. <healthy. laughs> Two big ones. 
was a Naruto figure. A Naruto Shippuden figure. And it comes with oh, Sakura. And she's a clip. So you can like clip her to your backpack or a charm. Let me open it up. Yeah, she's like the keychain charm. Last month we Dang had the, the dog, dog in, in a donut. <laughs> this is Sakura charm clip. Is that what it was? Mm -hmm. They're like, I'm tired. You're not giving me any candy. It's got a big old booty. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, she did. Maybe she's got a cup on it. <laughs> so I picked this one. Oh, well, that's the orange shake. It says, shake, shake. This one's a do it yourself candy. is we have the make it yourself candy from last month and the make it yourself candy from this month so we're going to do a separate video where each one of us makes it each one of us makes a candy so what you guys can watch out for that later what is this this one is what is what was this called? mochi ball yeah mochi ball um, what's that and this is, looks like a shake it's a make it yourself shake so pick another one for this oh it's for this one Candy. This is something caramel. That looks like Mehi Dice Caramel. Mm. These little guys have been around since 1910. The package is made to look like five different dice, each with caramel hidden inside. Mm. So they should all taste similar. They just look different. Some of them are dice and some of them are like elephants, like circus. I think maybe they look like a dice inside. Oh, they come with two candies each inside. So inside of the little dice boxes, they come with individually wrapped candies. Oh, it's caramel. You know what these look like? These look like consomme. <laughs> the little chicken seasoning? Yeah. yeah. For those of you who cook, there's a spice. Or watch your mama cook. Or watch your mama cook. There's a spice in Spanish pronounced consomme. I think in in it's English it's a bouillon cube. A chicken bouillon cube is what they're called. That's what consomme is. That's what it looks like. It's just like straight caramel. Mm -hmm. 
Is it caramel or caramel? I say caramel. Can you say? Very rich. water flavors. Exercise, a refreshing sports drink, tastes perfect for rehydrating after exercise. Grape, I like sweet grape flavored or apple, a sour apple flavored juice that leaves a refreshing apple aftertaste. So this is probably either exercise or apple. Yeah. It's not great. Yeah, it's just a lemon on the back. Maybe it's about that game and the exercise. Gator yeah. Flavor. <laughs> Let's put it in pockets like you're open. Please make fun of the way you say Gatorade. How do you say it? I don't know how to say it. How are you supposed to say it? <laughs> <laughs> That's how There's I no say it. There's no special way of saying it. Are we all going to take a sip? Like, do you want to get a cup? Yeah, I think I Cute. You guys want to see? Classic. Where do you have them? I'll tell you. I'll tell you a story about these little cups. So I was walking my dog down the alley of June. And I was like, like oh, it's just an alley. And there was a box, I guess somebody had like moved out and they threw out all their china. And there was like all these cute little tea sets. And uh, I got five of these and then five of like these really pretty gold ones. And I've never used them because they're so tiny. Like, I'm gonna drink tea. I'm like, hey, drink this much tea. <laughs> so they're just kind of there. So, but they're cute. They're called Golden Star Tours. They're really pretty. Just like a little espresso. Like yeah. yeah. Maybe like Cuban drink out of the Cuban coffee. Bottoms up. Cheers. And it's yeah. it's clear, guys. I don't know. I'm, I'll pour a little bit out into mine so you can see. It's well, for the home. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's like liquid, uh, clear water. So like a Capri Sun type. Oh, maybe. Mm -hmm. Capri Sun clear. Yeah. If you ever squirt it out of the pouch. Like a really, like lemonade with hardly any sugar. Yeah. Yeah, it's like really light. Very mild. Well, so, do you think it's exercise flavor? Or what was the other flavor? Apple. Um, apple and grape. So this has to be exercise. Yeah, definitely not apple. You guys feel like rehydrated after a workout? <laughs> okay. So this, this is, the is there a name? Glego Man toy. So it's two boxes. It is, I think this is a toy. It's Glego Man Caramel and Toy. There's a lot of caramel in this. They're heart shaped caramel. Play with your new toy while you enjoy your yummy caramel hearts. That's cute. I think I'm caramel with green Japan. Yeah, these boxes are really interesting. Exactly. Coco. Coco nice. Exactly four. <laughs> and then this is the toy. Oh, it's a it's fish. A fish. <laughs> in a frying, in a saute pan. Love. <laughs> yeah. Fishing for a cookie. If these were cookies, that would be perfect. Oh, they're wood toys. You know what this, fun. You know what this looks like? Those Mexican Tommy candies. Oh, I don't know if they're just Mexican. I don't candy. know if they are Mexican. Mm -hmm. Tomis. T O M Y. Y. No double M. Oh, it kind of tastes sour. Right? It's a little. Let me do a toy. Mm, it's also chewy. Mm hmm. Not a hard caramel. What are you supposed to do with this? <laughs> so you really want you to eat your heart caramel? <laughs> Coco Village. <laughs> she makes everything. 
Oh yeah, this kind of summer. Mm -hmm. Not bad. You know, I like this. This looks like marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Fluffy soft mallow. I just wonder if it's fruity or sour or just like more flavor. It says four colorful flavors. Oh, so it's four different flavors of marshmallow. Yep. They're on camera, but they're just sitting looking up at Evelyn. <laughs> you think the whole thing? Yeah. I'm trying to see if I can piece apart the flavors. Oh. Yeah. It just tastes like marshmallow. It's literally just like a. Marshmallow's still good. Marshmallow's, marshmallow's, marshmallow's. Maybe it tastes like those colored marshmallows you can buy, but I mean, it tastes like, it's like a marshmallow. When I first saw it, I thought it was like a hard candy. Like one of those lollipops that they sell? We have two things left. Micro? Yeah. Zing wing! <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it says? No, I don't know what it means. Everywhere. Okay, so this feels like Pop Rocks. I mean, zing. something mix. Oh, there's so it's like I think you're reading it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to read it X first. Mix. So, okay, so it is. It's Pashishua grape soda mix. Can I put it in soda? I don't know. Let's no, see. This would, it says this is exactly what grape soda would be like if you could eat it instead of drink oh. it. A mixture that cracks and pops just like you're drinking a real soda. So, like a great soda pop rocks. <laughs> I'm slowing about you trying to read it backwards. I found it. Can you show the poppies on the bottom? Are you worried about that thing where you can like kill yourself by mixing like pop rocks and, and Pepsi or something? Soda? Yeah. I mean, I've never tried it, but I've heard it. Oh, they're big. big. Oh, that's a lot. It looks like there's like these little thingies and then there's like little tiny things. Yeah, there's oh, there's little sprinkles. purple ones. Yeah. There's, so yeah. there's purple crystals. So white flakes and then big pink shoes. Mm -hmm. The white ones are the pop ones. I mean, the purple. So the pink is chewy. It tastes really good. I can hear the popping. Yeah. The pink is like the soda flavor. Mm -hmm. And then all the other stuff is the poppy stuff. It's like mm -hmm. a really big pot. Chris is eating it! Chris, no! I think it's more intense than American Pop Rock. A little more. I can like hear. Yeah. Go so stand next to the camera so I can hear the popping. That's really cool. Okay. And last but not least. Last but not least. There's not an English translation on here. Except in the back it says gum. That tell the future. Okay. The fortune telling gum. Each stick has its own fortune. they will tell you what your fortune is. The fortune telling bubble gum. That's really hard to open. Here we go. Are you supposed to be able to open them from the top? Yeah, like a that. secret compartment? No, like you're pulling out your fortune from the middle. How do I open it? <laughs> oh, I think I see it. Oh, so you slide the top open and then you can reveal your fortune. No fortune. That's a lot. That's a lot, yeah. I don't think it's gonna tell us. 
If you see these symbols on your stick, it says if you see these symbols on your stick, this is what they mean. All of these? Mmm, they smell very lemony. Oh, here's one. Good luck, good fortune. The last one was only on there. Great bad luck is one of the options. My name is Good Luck, Good Fortune. Alright. Tastes like the other gum we had that was non sour. It smells very lemony. It's not sour. But it's not yeah, sour. Good luck, Good Fortune. You're going to be so hot to read it right now. <laughs> I feel like that's what we all have. Why well, have Good Luck, Good Fortune? What did you have, sis? That's what I have. The same one? Yeah. Three. three. So get? it's just a good luck of fortune box. Maybe. The red sticks inside are unlucky. Um, so if you get a red one, it's unlucky. Okay guys, so that's it for the November Premium Japan Crate unboxing. I wanted to give a very big thank you to Evelyn for letting us film in her beautiful house. You're welcome. And for being in the video. Also thank you, Fernando. And thank you to... <laughs> Crazy for Coco Chris for making a celebrity appearance in our video. You're gonna get haircuts tomorrow. <laughs> what did you guys think of all the candy? I think it was good. It was a lot of like sour, fruity flavored, which is good. Yeah, yeah, I like sour candy too. That yeah, was a good balance this time around. I think my least favorite was the potato. Yeah, it wasn't my favorite, but I don't think it was bad. It didn't taste yeah. bad. It just tasted like cereal. Like yeah. cereal. Um, we'll make another video making the two do-it-yourself candies from October's crate and this month's crate, November's crate. Yeah. So if you guys like the video, um, check out the October Japan Crate box. You can check out Japan Crate. They also have a YouTube. I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can check it out. Um, that's all from us. You guys have any last words? Like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks guys. This is Elvia. This is Ray. And see you next time. Bye. Bye.